Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol POTN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Now, I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance. So the first level of support would be what I would consider the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? That would be if the price can stay up above 25 cents. Now, with that being said, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below 25, I am not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to actually stay up above that point, that would certainly be a huge sign of strength going forward. Next level of support after that would be this previous breakout point down here at the 22 cent mark. So 25 and 22 are two of the nearer term levels of support. Taking a step back and looking at things from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. So this definitely assumes you have more of a broader time horizon on, on things. But as far as the general perspective, you know, as long as the price stays above this line, which as its name implies moves, so as this line moves higher and higher, you know, as long as the price stays above it, then everything is in, you know, the bull's favor, the bull's control, however you, however you can best visualize that. Uh, so if you're looking to measure the health or lack thereof, again, as long as the price is above that purple line, uh, the bulls are in full health, assuming once more that you do care about things from the big picture point of view, because I get it, if you're a, a day trader and you bought right there, then yeah, you really don't care about a level that's gonna slowly be working its way up. But if you do care about the, the general scheme of things, then yeah, just monitor the purple line, and as long as the price stays above it, then everything is fully in the bulls' favor. Sure, once more, staying above 25 cents, that would be awesome, but Grand scheme of it all, stay above that purple line and everything is perfectly fine. What about levels of resistance? As far as sellers are concerned, the party stopped today right up around uh, the 28 and a half cent mark. So that'll be public enemy number one going forward. All in all though, no doubt about it, great move today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls continue to build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.